How is everyone? I'm tickled to be here. I am from Arkansas. Uh, what are you laughing about already? I'm from a little town in Arkansas. Six people in my graduating class. That's the truth. I always get some smart aleck. Were you the valedictorian? <laughs> uh-uh. I was in the top six. Strong top six. I was smart. <laughs> you know when I graduated, I think I should have been a meteorologist. I do, it, like a tornado chaser. I could get close to them. I know if one's coming, it's coming after someone talks like I do. <laughs> or the only ones you ever see on TV describing them. <laughs> Why is that? <laughs> I think the media gets that guy because they know it's going to be a colorful interview. <laughs> you know, you never see this guy. Oh, it was horrible. Claire and I was polishing the Mercedes Benz. <laughs> when we noticed it come over the back privacy fence, I thought, oh, no, it's going to suck the pool dry. <laughs> you never see that guy. I bet you've seen this one, though. Man, it was terrible. Is <laughs> on goodies. I was on the couch watching Dog the Bounty Hunter. <laughs> old lady, she was in the driveway putting brake pads on the old truck. <laughs> when that wind kicked up, that clothesline just took off. <laughs> I bet her drawers is in Izzard County by now. Uh, don't miss your... I grew up in a really tiny church, a uh, Baptist church, out of tune piano. Uh, and then I married my wife, who was Assembly of God. I started going to Assembly Church. My first Assembly service, I'll never forget it. The first thing I thought, no hymnals? <laughs> well, how they gonna sing if they ain't no hymnals? <laughs> and then this rock band started playing up there. I'm like, good grief. And then everybody was up. And I'm telling y'all, they was praising the Lord. They was getting with it. And I was like, what are they standing for? It ain't even the third verse. <laughs> I come from such a small town, we didn't have a U-Haul service. Had a generic U-Haul called Y'all Haul. <laughs> it doubles as our humane society. It does. Last time I was there, they had a box of kitty cats out front, you know, and um, uh, they was trying to give away, and my wife stopped off to play with them. I went inside, because I've known this man my whole life, and he loves picking on me since I was a little kid. And, uh, but he talks like he just got his tongue pierced, except he didn't. <laughs> you got anybody like that around here? As soon as I walked in, he goes, Oh, looky do it, Paul Harris. Try and be cool with them sunglasses on his face. <laughs> well, you say that, Hollywood. I said, I need a moving rig. He said, you on a truck or a twilight? <laughs> I said, a truck? <laughs> he said, you got a water tough? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what the matter, boy? The attack got you to you got a water tub, you probably want a big truck, about a 32, 38 footer. That way you can did it all in one load. Before I turn you loose with a big truck like that, I'm gonna do a drug to you. You own any drug? I said, no. He said, all right, pass the drug to you. About that time, unbeknownst to me, my wife walked right up behind me and had a couple of them kitty cats in her hands. I swear you go, them some pretty titties, White Dale. <laughs> oh, you laugh. <laughs> she did not know him. <laughs> she ran out of that building with them tats. <laughs> I, I was honest with him, though. <laughs> I was like, man, you probably should have said tittens. <laughs> probably would have been more appropriate, to be honest. 
be honest with you. 